everyone. Welcome to helpmath.com. So today we will talk about the probability distribution. So look at this question here. So find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Okay. So this time we will use the probability value. Okay. So find pro probability value. You need to find the total frequency first. So I'm gonna select all of sum here and find total sum and then each probability so equal to each frequency divided by total so which is 150 then now we go back and copy down and then let's make sure this is the right value then clear order sum yeah then it's one yeah this means uh, it is right uh, probability value now x times px so that equal to each x time px and go back and then copy down. Now x squared times px. So x squared times px. And then go back and then copy down here. All right. Then we need their sum as well. So highlight and then order sum. Then we will we will given um, total sum for uh, px and x times px and then x squared times px here. Okay, so we don't need the frequency uh, column anymore. And then now, uh, after we converting to probability distribution table, you know this uh, value representing population data because uh, we assume we don't know actual frequency value basically. Okay, all right then. Population mean. This means basically this value. So the reason is, uh, using the frequency distribution, uh, you may remember we divide x times px, total of x times px column, divided by total frequency. But now this time total, free, uh, total probability value becomes 1. So 2.94 divided by 1 equals 2.94. That's the reason uh, this value is our mean value basically. Okay. Then what's the how to find the variance? So look at this formula here. So basically, uh, we we find total sum of x squared times px, which is this value, and minus mean square. So I told you this is mean. So this square, that will be our variance. So so population variance. That equal to this value minus this value square. Okay, so that's the variance, and then the standard deviation that equal to so square root of the variance. Then this is the value basically. Okay, then now what about the case? Uh, there's no frequency column here. Okay, so it is possible too, right? So please look at our next question, please. So given x is uh, here and then we got the only probability value. So as you see, there's no frequency value. Okay, but the same thing. So now you, you find out multiplying x and px and then go back and then copy down now this means x square time px and go back and then copy down okay don't forget you find total for these two columns as well okay then now what's the mean value here yes exactly so this means uh, x time px the total sum here so that's our mean value and then variance which means this value minus our mean square so that's our variance and standard deviation that equal to square root of our the variance here okay so that basically answer for this table okay so this time we talk about uh, find the uh, population mean, 
and variance and standard deviation using probability distribution table. I hope this video helped you to understand how to do it and then I will see you with I will see you again with a different video. Alright, thank you.